Have you ever wondered how an AI actually thinks? Not just spitting out facts, but reasoning its way through a complex problem. The world of artificial intelligence is moving at an incredible pace, and we're no longer just talking about making AI bigger. We're talking about making it smarter, more efficient, and capable of genuine reasoning. Today, we're gonna to pull back the curtain on two major players who are taking dramatically different paths to build the future of AI, Huawei and DeepSeek. This isn't just a story about code and algorithms. It's a story about strategy, philosophy, and even geopolitics. On one side, you have Huawei, a global tech giant building a fortress of AI with hardware, software, and it's designed to work in perfect harmony. Not a joke there with this Harmony OS. On the other hand, you have DeepSeek, a fast-moving newcomer that's building powerful AI and giving it away to the world in the realm of open source. So who's on the right track? Let's go ahead and we'll break it down. First, let's talk about Huawei. You probably know them for their phones and telecom equipment. They are pouring out massive resources into AI and with their Pangu series of models. Now, building massive AI models creates a huge problem, cost. The bigger the model, the more computationally expensive it is to run. To solve this, many companies use a technique called mixture of experts, or MOE. Imagine a company with a team of specialists, an accountant, a lawyer, and a marketer. When a prompt comes in, you don't send it to everyone. You route it to the right expert. MOE models do the same thing. They have a network of experts and only activated ones they need for a specific task. But this creates another problem. What if everybody else, what if everyone has a marketing question? Your marketing expert gets overloaded while the lawyer is just sitting there doing nothing. In AI, this is called load imbalance, and it is a huge bottleneck. This is where Huawei's big innovation comes in. It's called MOGE, or Mixture of Grouped Experts. Instead of a big pool of independent experts, Huawei groups them. Imagine our company now has three teams, finance, legal, and marketing, each one with several experts inside of it. With MOGE, when a task comes in, the system is forced to select one expert from each of them. This simple but brilliant idea guarantees that the workload is perfectly balanced across all the computer chips, or as Huawei calls them, their Ascend MPUs. It's a structural solution that squeezes every last drop of performance out of their own custom-built hardware. Why is this so important for them? Geopolitical pressures and U.S. sanctions have limited Huawei's access to some of the world's top chip technology. So they focus on what they can control, building an incredibly efficient, vertically integrated system where their Pangu AI software is perfect, perfectly optimized for their Ascend hardware. It's a strategy born from a necessity aiming for technological self-reliance. Now let's take a look at DeepSeek. They are a much newer, more agile company that has burst onto the scene by open sourcing some incredibly powerful models. Their strategy isn't about custom hardware. It's about revolutionary training experiences. DeepSeek uses a mixture of experts architecture, but their secret sauce is how they teach their models, particularly their flagship reasoning model, DeepSeek R1. Instead of just feeding it mountains of text, they put a massive emphasis on reinforcement learning. Think of it like this. Instead of showing a student thousands of solved math problems, you give them a problem and a reward system. They get positive rewards for correct steps and outcomes. Through trial and error, the student doesn't just memorize solutions, they learn the process of problem solving. This is exactly what DeepSea is doing with AI. They use a technique called chain of thought, where the AI is rewarded for thinking out loud, for laying out its reasoning step by step, and what's amazing is that this process leads to emergent behaviors. The AI starts to self-reflect. It reviews its own work and can spot its own errors. It has error correction. When it finds a mistake, it can actually go back and try a different approach. It can explore. It actively experiments with different ways to solve a problem. This is a profound shift from just pattern recognition to something that looks more like genuine reasoning. And to make these huge models runnable, they invented a clever trick called multi-head latent attention, MLA for short, which dramatically shrinks the model's memory footprint during use, making it more efficient and accessible. So here we have Huawei's hyper-efficient, hardware-optimized MOGE versus DeepSeek's reasoning-focused open-source MOE. Well, how do they stack up? Let's just talk about the numbers first. Benchmarks are the way we measure an AI's performance. Take a look at this. Huawei's Pangu Ultra MOE with 718 billion parameters is an absolute monster. 
DeepSeek's DeepSeek R1 is similarly huge at 671 billion parameters. On a benchmark called GPQA Diamond, which tests scientific knowledge, knowledge Pangu Ultra MOE actually beat DeepSeek R1. Huawei also claims their system is incredibly efficient, achieving a high model flops utilization or MFU of 30%, which basically means their hardware is working very hard and not wasting any energy. But when you look at other areas on complex math and coding benchmarks like Math 500 and Code Forces, DeepSeek R1 puts up absolutely stellar scores, sometimes rivaling or even beating the top proprietary models from places like OpenAI and, and Google. Now, for instance, DeepSeek R1 scored a 90.2 on the math benchmark showcasing its incredible reasoning power. What this tells us is that what they have are different strengths. Huawei's MOGE is a masterclass in system efficiency. It's designed for high throughput and performance on their own hardware stack. Their Pangu Pro MOE model can process over, sorry, their Pangu Pro MOGE model can process over 1,500 tokens per second on a single Ascend card. That is absolutely blazing fast. DeepSeek's R1 is a reasoning powerhouse. The focus on reinforcement learning has created a model that excels at tackling complex novel problems. It's a classic battle, optimized system level efficiency versus raw, flexible reasoning power. This isn't just a technical debate. It's a reflection of two different worldviews shaped by global events. Huawei's path is one of vertical, in, vertical integration and resilience. Facing external pressures, as we have talked about often on this channel, they have doubled down on building self-reliant ecosystem from the silicone chip all the way up to the AI model. And we can even go further down the supply line. Their goal is technological sovereignty, creating a powerful closed garden where they control every single variable. Deep Streak's strategy is about openness and community. By releasing their models and research, they are building a global community of developers who can use, test, and improve their work. They are betting that the collective power of the open source community can out-innovate a closed system. This also makes their powerful technology more accessible with reported training costs for DeepSeek R1 of around $5.6 million, just a fraction of what some of the other top models cost. So who wins the race for AI supremacy? This fascinating truth is there might not be a single winner. The diversion paths of Huawei and DeepSeek shows us that leadership in AI isn't just about having the single best model. Huawei's approach could lead to incredibly powerful specialized AI solutions for industries like telecommunications and manufacturing, all running efficiently on their own custom hardware. They are trying to own their entire value chain. However, DeepSeek's approach could fuel a wave of global innovation, empowering startups, researchers, and developers everywhere with open source tools can kind of reason in profound new ways. They're trying to build the most vibrant ecosystem. What we're seeing is a future where different kinds of AIs excel at different things. A competition between hardware-driven efficiency and software-driven reasoning. The tension between proprietary control and open source innovation will define the next decade of artificial intelligence. And it's a race we'll be watching very, very closely. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more deep dives into technology that are shaping our world. And of course, I will see you next time. Thank you.